Welcome everyone, Marketplace Analysis for e-commerce. So we are talking about e-commerce that is transaction over internet and how do we understand the market. So agenda is very clear, create an online marketplace analysis to assist competitors, to assist customers, to understand intermediaries and obviously to dissect the competitors. Use of internet as a part of a strategy development. Next is to identify main business marketplace model for electronic communications and trading. Evaluate the effectiveness of the business and the revenue models for online business as in what is an online and offline components of your total revenue is coming forward to so that you can focus which area needs much much of your attention. Management issues are very easy. What are the implications of changes in marketplace structure or for how we trade with customers other partner which business models and revenue models should we consider in order to exploit the internet what will be the importance of online intermediaries and marketplace hubs to do business what action should we take to partner these intermediaries at all cases these are the things that needs to be very well understood altogether so yes let us come forward with it <clears throat> first and foremost thing we need to understand Electronic communication is all about disruptive technology, technology which hasten the process, technology which makes the process easier, simpler and probably removes a lot of intermediaries in between. So that means that there are changes in the industry structure, in the marketplace structure, in the business models per se. Remember, disruptive technology is technology that prompts business to reassess the air approaches of any business. Let's say for a B2B organization, whenever I say B2B, it means business to business organization. Traditionally, it has sold its products through a network of distributors, but with the advent of e-commerce, it has now the opportunity to bypass distributor. That means it has removed intermediaries altogether. That means they are trading directly with the customers via destination website. And it also has the opportunity to reach customers through B2B marketplace only. Similarly, for B2C organization, such as e-retail destination, there is an opportunity for the market to its product through online intermediary, such as engine, search engine, price comparison, social network, blogs, and other publishers. Now, what we are looking out here is the destination site. Typically, a retailer or a manufacturer site with the sales and service information, intermediaries such as media sites, maybe any destination site for per se. Now, we are talking about a website. We might be talking about it. We might be talking about an e-commerce site. We might be talking about any trade intermediaries uh, catalog that one has been present out here. Now, this is what we are looking forward to. Let us understand. Did I say about intermediaries? This is what we are looking out here. Website which help connect web user with content they are seeking to destination site. Include online intermediaries only, such as such as search engine, such as shopping comparison site, such as traditional brokers, directories, newspapers, magazine publisher, and now have an online presence. Let us understand organization that monitors and understand respond appropriately to the changes thereby in their online marketplace have the greatest of opportunities to use digital technology to compete effectively. Now, this is where you need to understand what is an on online intermediary. They can be search engine. They can be a comparison website. There can be any marketplace when which your, your product has been cataloged altogether. So there is a need for to process this continually monitoring the environment, which is often, often known as environmental canning. Situation analysis is collection and reviewing of information about this organization, external environment and internal process. The resources thereof in order to perform or inform the strategy. Now, this is situation analysis as in what your competitors are doing. Are they coming up with any promotion? Are they coming or bundling their product and selling it out? What is the strategy that they are looking into it? So based upon competitors strategy, how will you react as a, as a competitor yourself? Com environmental scanning analysis, the process of continuously monitoring the environment, the events and respond, uh, responding accordingly. So knowledge of opportunities and threats presented by these marketplace changes is essential to those involved in defining the business. Marketing and information system strategies as a 
case might be what are we looking out here look at the system this is what we are talking about the environment in which a business work now this is your business we have the micro environment there are vendors there are stakeholders right absolutely there might be employees there might be processes there might be other vendors that comes around it we can have so many stakeholders who are in, into it right so this is your micro environment which you need need to manage and this micro environment on the other hand are probably exposed to the macro environment in terms of technology innovations country specific as far as economic factors legal constraint and cultural factors are all about it societal things the public opinion the moral constraint the intermediaries the economic factors legal cultural as as an when on basis so what are we looking out here if you look in the organization we have the customers or the suppliers along with the competitors that has been present we have the intermediaries the suppliers might be coming through our vendor probably and they are giving to the organization and they are manipulating manufacturing something which again goes by to the carrier and forwarding agent or retailer which end up with the customers so in between this micro environment we have to work in the macro environment that is what needs to be understood for the strategic agility yes the capacity to respond to this environmental opportunities to this environmental threats is known as agility of a company or strategic agility this concept is strongly associated with knowledge management theory and is based on developing a sound process for reviewing marketplace opportunities threats and selecting the appropriate strategy option thereby this is what we will be talking around it customers which serves are they offering via their website that your organization could support them competitors need to be benchmarked in order to review the online services they are offering do they have competitive advantages intermediaries are new or existing intermediaries offering products or services from your competitors while you are not represented suppliers are suppliers offering different methods of procurement to competitors that gives them a competitive advantages of late and this is what we are looking forward to it so yes environmental constraints and opportunities are customers competitors intermediaries and suppliers as the case might be environmental constraints the macro environment on the other hand can be societies country specific things country specific internet international legal or international economic things technology per se as to what are the new technologies that has been landing up emerging around here then and there so we need to understand so we have my micro environment and we work under the macro environment thereby so let us understand the online marketplace remember the customer segment is this way we have a profile of a customer that we create in terms of your audiences existing versus new web savvy or traditional demographic in terms of age sex gender style orientation life cycle segmentation in which part are they young adults are they young teenagers are they adults are they married are they middle age are they couple with kids are they old age are they retirees and so on so forth then comes the psychographic segmentation based upon this customer segment we have different search type of generic search now some might go for google yahoo other search engine like duckduck go we have virtual search uh, search engine and then there is something called the social media or social specialist directories which comes around it they will in 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 turn will gives us indirect competitors direct competitors or company site or website that comes around it the specialist directories might actually go to your horizontal portals in terms of uh, marketplace niche media or social network social media aggregators or super affiliates and small affiliates and blogs that comes around it now this is what an online services uh, marketplace would all about it from customer service to a search media is and intermediaries media side now remember this intermediaries flows are at different times we come into an ovps ovps are online value proposition as to which you come from a, how many numbers of sales come from a company side how many sales come from a direct competitors and how many sales comes from the indirect competitors per se now this is what we need to understand every now and then so online marketplace analysis is a uh, is key to the part of developing a long term e business plan or creating a short term digital marketing plan completing a marketplace analysis defined 
helps to define the main type of online presence that are part of a click ecosystem, which describe the consumer behavior or the flow of online visitors between an engine search engine, media sites, and other intermediaries to an organization and its competitors. This is what should be known to every one of us. This is how it should go away with it. To help understand and summarize the online leakages between online business and traffic flow, it is worthwhile to produce an online market marketplace map. This shows the relative importance of different online intermediaries. In the marketplace, the flow of clicks between the various customers per se, your company size and different competitors via intermediaries. How do we go around? What is it that plays the major role and where the online value proposition comes up? The OVP comes in, in and around altogether. <clears throat> so let us understand B2B is business to business, B2C is business to customer characteristics. Now, if you look in, into the proportion of adapters, B2C is from low, very low in the early beginning and to medium at, at later stage. But in B2B is from high to high. The volume is always on a higher end, high to very high. In fact, complexity of buying in B2C, it's relatively simple because it is individual we are targeting and then influencer. But B2B is more complex. They are talking about landing prices. They are talking about free. They will be talking about uh, credit payments. So their process involves users, specifiers, buyers, etc. In terms of channel, it's very easy. B2C is relatively simple, direct, you pay, you get. But in B2B, it might not be very complex. You, you can have another account uh, through which the sale will actually happen. So direct or via wholesaler agent or a distributor account. Then comes the purchasing characteristics as in low value, low value, but high volume or high volume with high value. So what you are looking into is maybe in a high involvement, fashion also in b2b is the similar volume value stage altogether maybe high involvement repeat orders rebuys more common and so on and so forth product characteristics often standardized items standardized items are a bespoke for the sale purpose thereby this is what we are looking forward to so uh, in a uh, disintermediation uh, of consumer channels showing the original situation look at the situation the original thing is producer to wholesaler to retailer and then to customer. But with the advent of online aid, the wholesaler goes for a toss. It goes through a retailer and it goes a customer. But wholly integrated, it is wholesaler and retailer goes for a toss. And we are changing. And that is the reason if you buy, buy it from online, people might get it at a cheaper rate. So disintermediations of the intermediaries of wholesalers and retailers, retailers are what has been place what this disintermediation means the removal of this means distributors or brokers formerly linked to a company or a customer and the brokerages or charges or commission that was supposed to be paid reintermediations is the creation of near reintermediation between the customer and supplier let's say providing a supplier search and product valuation services now we are changing the process as in valuation measuring comparing sites as the case might be so company now Again, goes with the same directions of company to the customers, but in there in comes an intermediary who will be the influencer who might move a change or promote a product and for which they might actually take a commission around it. So we have this intermediary, there was a disintermediation and now this again has come around, come around with reintermediation where there's a company uh, comparing website, where there is an affiliate, where there is a, uh, there is uh, let's say another retailer who is advising as to what would be the best option for a customer thanks to go around it it might be a small blogs it might be anything which are large in numbers in terms of specialized insurance claims or insurance agents so on so forth so let us understand sell side or supplier side where the trade is via supplier website there is only one website and there are n numbers of buyers when is buyer side Trade is via a buyer website in where the buyer side and there are many suppliers to go around it probably. And when there is absolutely the supplier is key and uh, where supplier is the key, there are neutral exchanges. Both are coming through an intermediary website and probably owning it up all the way around it. This is what we should be looking forward to.
three alternative options across the continuum of trading for trading within the electronic marketplace the option can be summarized as follow sell side at the supplier side typically one supplier to many customers example most retailers let's say amazon.com or dell.com sell side on a distribution portal let's say some suppliers to many customers as such buy side at a buyer side many or some supplier to a single customer example general electric trading post now we known as global exchange services or gxs.com wherein buy side at a buyer side altogether where you have certain portals or uh, where people are going to put up their product for sell or to uh, or sell selling purposes and people will bid for it and they will actually make the purchases neutral exchange or the marketplace for hubs many supplier to many customers example uh, wordmarts wet markets global compost dot com and so on and so forth now calculating the revenue of online business site owners can develop models for potential revenue depending upon the mix of revenue generating techniques from four main revenue options they use on on site given in the options above as the case might be so we need to understand the cal calculation of revenue let us go forward with it let us talk about a publisher's example revenue is describe the method of generating income for an organization how do we generate it the main types of online revenue models are display advertisements on the site if you are doing it the cpm start for cost per uh, thousands uh, mile as such or cost for impression as they go goes around it so this is traditional method in which a site owner will be charging a fee for advertising so every time the call the advertiser has been clicked or is been viewed the bill, billing would be done otherwise not cpc is uh, cost per click is uh, advertising a charge not simply the number of times that there ad has been displayed but this time how many of the customers are actually clicking on the advertisement and going into a different page so but according to the number of times they are clicked around it so cost per impression to cost per site as the case might be is the revenue model which comes around it we then have something called uh, the sponsorship sites or a content types typically a fixed period for a particular it's for a particular period of time as as in rental the company pays to advertise on a site channel let's say uh, for a bank of hsbc sponsored the money sections on the orange broadband providers portal this is an orange.co.uk so if the hsbc is going to put up the banner out there probably they will be paying it on a monthly weekly or quarterly basis affiliate revenue is uh, cost per acquisition or could be cost per click cpa and cpc Aff affiliate revenue is commission based cost per acquisition as the actual sale has happened for example i display amazon books on my site davechefi.com and receive around 5% of the cover price as a commission from the amazon such an arrangement is sometimes known as cost per acquisition or the cpa as the case might be turning telling around then comes the transaction fee revenue the company receives the fee for facilitating a transaction every time a gateway is been utilized the company receives a fee for example when ebay or paypal who charges a percentage of transaction cost between a buyers and sellers then paypal or e uh, ebay they don't they don't charge anything to any uh, they don't sell or don't make money around it but probably for every transaction there would be a commission that they need to earn around subscription access to content or services a range of document can be accessed from a publisher for a period of month or typically year these are often referred as a premium services for example i subscribe to ft.com for accessing the digital te technology for around 80 pound a year so that is what would be my subscription payment for all together so that is for the content of the services now a relevant example would be netflix that uh, end up playing up you pay a few dollars per month or per annual subscription which is at, at a discounted price if you calculate it on a monthly basis but that's it so you are paying netflix for a certain contents that will be made available to you as on and on basis for the next one month one year as your period you have determined pay per view access to documents here payment occurs for a single access to a document video music clip which can be downloaded it may or may not be protected with a password or digital rights ma uh, management subscriber data access for email marketing the data sites owner has about customers are also potentially valuable since it can send different forms of emails to his customer they have given the permission that they are happy to receive email from either publisher or a third party as the case might be 
we i'm showing you the uh, just a spreadsheet to calculate the site revenue altogether you have a display advertisement cost per impression that goes around it see per thousand means hundred thousand there will be uh, two dollar uh, two pounds cost per thousand uh, rates percentage of inventory service 40 percent at the click through rate is 10.1 percent uh, at services too and you calculate it it is absolutely which will give it to you the revenue models for everything it can be going for a fixed run of a site sponsorship text ad advertisements as a cost per click sponsorship what are the breakups it's cost per thousand for click uh, click per thousand impression that comes around it now if you look into it this is what comes around the display revenue display is 160 pounds Earning per 100 clicks would be 200, uh, 200 pounds. That means display at is at the rate of 1.6 pounds altogether. So inventory ser served is 100%, 100% of the 1000 percentage, 100,000 impression that has been served altogether. Of this, this is the earning that comes around it, 200 pounds. So that's a very good tangible rate that comes around it. Similarly, for affiliate commissions, if we can go across it where you actually cost per acquisition and you're talking about it, the affiliates are the website or the blogs through which you have made a purchase or somebody has made a purchase, the affiliate stands to earn a commission or brokerage is thereby. And that is how we go around. So overall metrics for a site will be like this. It's a blue cell, which is an in the, on the side will be the input variables and the orange cell will be all, all your expenses variables. So that's what we are looking around it. With this, we come to an end of this particular presentation. I am sure that most of you have understood what exactly is all about digital transaction thereby. Thank you for watching this video.